Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the morning workout. Good morning, everybody. Once again, you're with the lovely Laura. Uh-huh, Richard Bain. Hey, hey baby. That's right, coming at you live on the Facebook, and happy Independence Day. What? This is Independence Day. I know it. I'm, July 4th. Oh, I'm so grateful. July. For the men that stormed the beaches mm -hmm. and did other things to protect our freedoms mm -hmm. so that we could spend the day on the beach. <laughs> Live the beach. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. thank you. you know? All who have served. Right. All who have served and their families. So hap Obviously. Yes. Happy Fourth of July, happy, everybody. Happy Fourth of July. Mm -hmm. And I hope this is uh, means more to you than just a cookout mm. and a day off work or whatever. You know, you it's so much more than that. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah. So we just got done with our workout now. Yes. Free to work out. Look, that's what freedom, that's what freedom brings. Mm -hmm. We get to do non-important things like work out. Right. Get to have a cookout. All right. Hey, Aaron. Yes, yeah, so today's yes. word of the day, believe it or not. What is it? Freedom. Freedom? <laughs> how did it fall on today? <laughs> Funny how that worked out. Freedom. Oh, freedom. 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 Oh, I think of... Um, Oh, what's the movie? Braveheart. Braveheart. Right? They may take our lives. But they won't, won't take, take our, our freedom, freedom. Which is so true. So we separate the men from the boys. Those who wear the masks and those who don't. Those who put up with this crap and those who don't. All right? Get around this guy, baby. I know, this little moped. <laughs> I think it is a moped. <laughs> on the main road. Oh, buddy. <laughs> 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 Oh man! Sorry, he looked at us funny. <laughs> anyway, freedom. Freedom. Get it. You know what comes to my mind first of all with what? freedom? Uh, first of all, our freedoms come from our Creator, God. Yep. Period. I mean, our founders recognize that. Bobby. Uh, among you know, we were created, we were endowed by our Creator. That was just their fancy way of saying God. Our country was founded on Judeo-Christian principles and values and a belief in a God. Nothing else, not that we cra crawled out of the slime, or Allah, or Buddha, or no God. We're not an atheist people. That's not how we were founded. That's where freedom comes from, because it's ordained by God. Yes. It's given God. by God, the God. Not not by guys, people. Not, Our know, freedoms do not come from, from man. Man, right. right. All right, they come from God, and our, and our founders recognize that, that we are endowed by a creator. Mm -hmm. Among these things are... With unalienable rights, this is another fancy way of saying that we are we have rights just for being born with them. Right, right. We're not given, we're born with them. Right. Among these are life, life, all life, no matter all lives no matter, matter what your race, no matter where you come from, matter no matter what your geography, out of the womb, in the womb. Stay in the womb right okay. Right. All life. Alright, among these are life, liberty, alright? In pursuit. pursuit of your happiness. You know, and, whatever you uh, want your happiness to be. Right, that you can have the life that you want. That you're not just told you have to do this mm -hmm. um, and live this way. I don't want to live here. All right, I don't want to take the jab. You know, I don't. You know, that, that mm -hmm. those kinds of things that don't affect other people. I don't want to wear the mask. Right, right. But our founders also recognized that uh, the great experiment, and that's what we're celebrating here. Really, is the great experiment. Is whether um, hey, a people, a people that frees themselves, by the way, the United States Morning of America ways. was the first peoples and the history of mankind, and the history of mankind mm -hmm. that said we are free mm -hmm. and fought for our freedoms. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what's unique about the United States of America. That is what's special about the United States of America. Yes, a great old book to read is called The 5,000 Year Leap. Mm -hmm. Great book, a little heady, but really talks about how the well, history of the world and how the 5,000 years um, ish, right, the United States came to be. Um, and there was just a, a that, leap a in leap. human history. Right. It wasn't just that a That was step. created by the United States. No one's dying to move to France. No one's literally dying to move to Australia or Canada They're coming or Mexico. Here. They're coming, right, they're coming to America. Just we just had south of the border. We're coming, you know, we're opening up our borders. Okay. Everybody. Well, now we're seeing people are literally dying to come here. We're such a racist, bigoted, uh, horrible, country. horrible 
country that people are dying to come here, okay? So how bad must it be somewhere else? That comes from our Constitution, and what a beautiful thing the, the Supreme Court did mm -hmm. in this time. It's truly a miracle in this climate, in this environment. Mm -hmm. You know, the Supreme Court was there to protect the laws, the Constitution, not to create laws and policy, and they recognized that. So really, that was a, a stroke when they, when overturned. they overturned Roe v. Wade. That really was a stroke for personal freedom and personal liberty. Right. Because it threw it back to the states and to the people, to the people. You know, people decide, you know, like in California, they want to kill babies. You can kill babies. That's what you want to do. That's part of the experiment. Here in Florida, we, we believe in life. All life. All life matters. And so we have, the, we have the right to do that. That's the power of the people. Right. So that was really a blessing, throwing it back, you know, yes. freedom. Another thing that reminds me about freedom, freedom isn't free. There are powers, I mean, we've seen that, we're living it right now, there are powers that want to take your freedom. And they do that by separating you from others, you know. Making you dependent on them. Right. For everything, even your plumbing license. Exactly. Urgh. I'm, a, I'm not a fan of the state saying that you're licensed. If, if, a, if a government organization can tell you, just like the court, if they can tell you what you can do, they can tell you what you can't do. Which they just did with essential workers with a years ago. Right? Exactly right. So for us plumbers, I don't believe the state should math, you know, I, I believe in the system, but the, the trade should should license ourselves, should govern ourselves. That's how it used to be. Right. You know? Every time that, what was Ronald Reagan's line? Um, one of the scariest um, or, things you can hear is, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Right. That's the last thing you want to have help. They're there to you. take your freedoms, period. Always. That's where they, you know. They do not help. Right. So. So, anyways, freedom. So, think about, you know, as we're, you know, as we're with our families and friends and we're cooking out and doing these kinds of things, um, that's, you know. Maybe read right. um, the Declaration of Independence with your family, with your right. friends today, because especially with your kids. I'll bet if they're in public school, which they should not be, but if they're in public school, they're not reading it. Right. They're not reading it. So read it with your family today. That is what today is all about. Right. And really think about what these men did 200 plus years ago right. um, to create that document, which was... And was notice how short it is. Even the Constitution, divine. the greatest document in the history of mankind, other than the Bible, okay... Um, it's just a few pages mm -hmm. because freedom is simple and clear. Right. Anytime things become very complex, like Obamacare, right? They're small print. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. yes. Taking your freedoms away, yeah. hiding from you. Okay, because, anyways. Yes. So right. I would do that today, guys. Make that a part of your celebration. Right. Um, to read the Declaration of Independence. Um, let your kids ask questions. Um, let them really understand how different the United States is and what that document represents. So, right. Yep. The United States is the only country that you can come to. Other countries have tried to copy and go from that. You know, that's what the United States has brought. Okay. Yep. So, um, but you can start from nothing. We ought to see that as plumbers. You can come from nothing and you can create your own, you know, pursuit of happiness. Yep. Create your own happiness, your own freedom lifestyle. Uh -huh. oh, there we go. All right. Happy so, Independence Day. Happy Independence Day, everybody. Hope everything thank you to our right. ancestors. Yes. The generations that came before. Absolutely. You protected my family's freedoms. And yours. Yes. So. There we go. Okay, guys. Have All a right. great Fourth of July. Um, Enjoy the time off. That's it, right? I okay. always want to say, check out Potty Talk Live. No Potty Talk Live. <laughs> New podcast coming. Yes. So, anyway. Excited about that. Yeah. But there we go. If you miss Body Talk Live, just go watch all the the last that's 353 right. episodes. That's right. Maybe the last 250. Hey, the first 100 were a little. A whole gold mine <laughs> of nuggets. All right, in there for you. Yes. So there we go. Hey everybody. Hey, have a great one. Mm -hmm. All right, and as always, come like a champion. Bye. -bye.